With the confirmation that the Bond of Master and Disciples is going to be the next Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer, and with the new V-Jump scans showing us all these delectable new things about our favorite characters, I wanted to actually talk about them in great detail, since the Dragon Ball community went to such lengths to make all of this easy to understand for us, fellas. Now, while I did call Beerus and Whis appearing as the next Master and Disciple characters, as well as future Gohan, I was wrong about characters like Oob. However, thankfully, I was right about a majority of things, um, so that should make this really easy and really short and really simple for all of us to get through. So again, yes, predictably, Beerus and Whis are both master and student type characters. Beerus is a master to Goku and Vegeta, as well as a student to Whis, and Whis is obviously a master to Beerus, Goku, and Vegeta. Now with that, I'm not sure if they also get team attacks, because again, if they're combining all of the Tenkaichi series, Tag Team Tenkaichi, I think that was a PSP game, that game might actually have some of its moves uh, put over to this. Or maybe they'll take inspiration from recent Dragon Ball stuff. Like, for example, in a lot of recent Dragon Ball media, we see Goku and Vegeta doing a lot of team attacks together. Or Vegeta and Trunks doing the father-son Gallic gun against the Masu. Team attacks have been, a, have been a very recent thing in Dragon Ball games. Especially in hypothetical Dokkan units. With units like Super Saiyan Trunks and Broly having team attacks. As well as uh, Beerus and Whis having an LR that also has a team attack. And I'm very curious, what are team attacks going to be like in Tenkaichi 4 or Sparking Zero? Again, we don't know. The only confirmation we have is Jason and Berta. However, their regular ultimate attack was a team attack. So, we'll, ha we'll just have to wait and see. I'm so sorry I can't say more about team attacks. I'm really hyped to see what they actually come up with in this game for team attacks. But we'll have to wait and see when, uh, when, they, when they reveal mortals. Maybe in this trailer, actually, they'll show a team attack. And also, one of the coolest things about the scans, one-armed future Gohan. Holy heck. I feel like we haven't seen this guy of one arm in any Dragon Ball console game. I think it's just mobile games. I might be wrong. Someone please let me know if a console game has featured him with only one arm. Maybe Tenkaichi 2 did, because Tenkaichi 2 and Tenkaichi 3 have a lot of differences between them. But I'm pretty sure he had both his arms in Tenkaichi 3. Um, yeah, it's one on future Gohan, and not to mention, in the future Gohan scans, you can actually see, I mean, it's pretty obvious he was going to be in the game, but you can actually see Android 17. Um, we already got a confirmation on DBS 17, but seeing Z17 is also nice. Him and 18 also are probably going to have a team attack. Obviously, they're not master and students, so they're not the main focus. That's why they didn't get any big images to themselves. But 17 and 18, obviously, being another potential character for team attacks is very interesting. Because master and students, again, let's not forget, while we're on the topic of future Gohan, Gohan! There's a lot of Gohan in this. Um, we didn't get confirmation on Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, mostly because he's, uh, he's a savage. He doesn't need no mentor. But seeing a lot of Gohans in this makes me happy to know that maybe we'll see a version of the uh, team attack against Nappa that's executed properly by Kid Gohan. Or maybe we'll get the DBS Kamehameha and Special Room Cannon uh, like combo attack from Piccolo and Gohan in the Tournament of Power. There's just a lot of different things that we could event like actually get out of this game. This, ga this game is going to be colossal, okay? Speaking of colossal things, the move list shown to us here is quite huge. And actually, the Hermi and Takuba actually translated all of these moves for us. And he even says, all right, all moves have been translated. Some of these retained their Japanese names from Tenkaichi 3. But I put an English translation of what the move could be called if they actually decide to translate it this time around. Whis, Symphony of Destruction, just like Symphonic Destruction. Adult Gohan, Explosive Attack. Videl, Desperado Rush. Future Gohan, Super Kamehameha. Super Saiyan Future Gohan, Explosive Dance. Trunks of the Sword, the Lightning Sword Slash, Trunks in a Super Saiyan of the Sword, Burning Attack, Beerus, Super Destruction Ball, Master Roshi, Thunder Shock Surprise, Krillin, Scattering Energy Wave, Yamcha, Spirit Ball, Piccolo, Explosive Cannon, Kid Gohan, Explosive Tempest. It also additionally says that Blue Goku's moves at the bottom are God Kamehameha for his Super Attack version of it, and the Limit Break God Kamehameha. So when Goku says, Break through the limit, he's referring to particularly the Ultimate Attack. Um, Limit Break God Kamehameha is quite the name, but to be fair, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot did come up with a bunch of really extra names for the moves once they reach Godhood or the later stages of their transformations. Also, they're calling this guy Trunks Sword. We've never seen that before. So the Trunks that fights uh, with Vegeta against Cell is Trunks Melee, and the Trunks that fights um, in the future against Goku Black is Future Trunks. We have three Trunkses in this game. God damn! Now, more things to add that these moves actually are all like different types of moves. I feel like that's important to say, right? Uh, some of these are beam attacks, some of these are energy balls, some of these are close range key attacks, some of these are long range key attacks, some of these are like trap attacks, aka like uh, Krillin. Krillin's scattering energy wave doesn't actually need to hit the opponent. When it gets close to the opponent, it goes up into the air naturally and rains down. Now in Tenkaichi, at least Tenkaichi 3, 
I remember this not being very good. In Xenoverse 2, they actually made this move work, though. So I'm curious if it's going to work more like the way it does in Xenoverse 2, where uh, once it gets close to the enemy, it puts them in, like, a weird stun and then rains down, like, huge damage on them. However, I do want to say I like the presentation of the move more in the Tenkaichi series. So right now, they're kind of battling with, uh, with what works in the modern times versus what worked in the old times, right? Because Xenoverse 2, despite being a modern game, not a lot of it works. It does get some things right, though, and hopefully they can draw inspiration from that. For example, I'm pretty sure Symphony of Destruction is going to work like Symphonic Destruction, where at close range, Whis can just turn you into Sashimi. He just puts you in, in, in a whirlwind of pain. Um, but Tenkachi used to... I don't remember Tenkachi having close range uh, key supers like that, or key ultimates for that matter, right? Um, the closest I can think of is maybe the super explosive wave moves, and Warp Kamehameha is technically a close range attack, because the way it used to work, is that Goku would teleport right next to the enemy and he would release a short-ranged wave of fire. But because he teleports next to the enemy, it just looked like a beam. However, if the enemy could barely avoid it with like a, their own instant transmission or something similar, then you can actually see that it's a very, very short-ranged like wave of fire. Same with Misenko, actually. Misenko is also a short-ranged wave of fire. So we'll see how they change moves, right? Because Misenko recently has been a beam attack. In Fighters, it's a beam attack. In Kakarot, it's a beam attack. In Xenoverse, it's a beam attack. Will it be a beam attack in Sparking Zero or will they keep it as a wave of fire? Kind of the same way moves like, um, damn, I think the way, the way moves like Mystic Flash work in Xenoverse, I guess, where it's just a short range wave of fire. It doesn't have to be like, you know, not everything needs to be an energy beam, for example. Yeah, but we have a lot of information on the, uh, on the Masters and Disciples, I guess. I'm calling the Masters and Disciples, they'll probably stick with Masters and Students, but Disciples is what they used on the Japanese, uh, on the Japanese, like, translation for this, as well as the fact that Master and Disciples is an actual category in Dokkan Battle already, which was how I was able, uh, able to guess that, uh, Beerus and Whis would potentially be on it, and I guess Future Gohan as well, but I didn't guess Oob. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I said, oh, Oob has a chance, but he's, he's a GT character, so they'll probably save him for a GT one, and you know what, they probably will. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Ma <laughs> Masters and Disciples. Honestly, if they start doing trailers by Dokkan categories, I'd be completely fine with that. Let's get some Earthbred Fighters in there. <gasps> Let's get Fusions! Let's get Fusions! Where's the Fusion trailer? Give us Fusions! I want Fusions now, but we have to be patient. We have to be patient. At least with the Masters and Disciples trailers, they've shown us more on the uh, gods, in, in particular... Uh, Beerus and Whis with Blue Goku ha finally having, you know, names for his uh, for his moves because we didn't know what the, what the hell his attacks were called. He just had two Kamehamehas and it's like, okay, do, do we both call them God Kamehamehas? One Super God Kamehameha and the other one's just God Kamehameha? No, we, we actually do have names now. One is God and one is Limit Breaking God Kamehameha. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll just we'll just get to see more um, after this. Again, we have to wait for the trailer. The trailer, at least at the, at the time we're uploading this video, trailer should release in three days. Two days for some of you, but three days. But again, please, just, just hit the bell. Just subscribe and hit the bell. You know what? Maybe, maybe this is a good place to end the video. But subscribe and hit the bell on the channel. That will let you know when it comes live. And if, for some reason, they don't, like, premiere it or stream it, I'll let you guys know when, when it's up. So please just subscribe, hit the bell. And um, just to wait further news for now, because that's all the information we have for today. Again, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, if you know again, please leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe as it greatly supports the channel. I do hope you all enjoyed, and that will be it, fellas. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Peace.